You've seen them everywhere. On stages, in recording studios, at karaoke nights, and even clipped onto someone's shirt during interviews. Microphones are such a common part of our lives that we rarely stop to think about how they actually work. But once you dive into the science and engineering behind them, it's like opening a door to a whole new world of sound. So grab your headphones or turn up your speakers because we're about to break down how microphones turn your voice into magic. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. At its core, a microphone is a device that converts sound waves, those invisible vibrations traveling through the air, into electrical signals. These signals can then be amplified, recorded, or transmitted. Think of it like a translator. Your voice speaks in sound waves, but your computer or speaker speaks in electrical signals. The microphone is the middleman, ensuring both sides understand each other. Before we dig deeper into the mechanics, let's talk about sound waves. When you speak, sing, or shout, you create vibrations in the air. These vibrations, or sound waves, travel outward like ripples on a pond when you toss in a stone. The frequency of these waves determines the pitch, while the amplitude determines the volume. For a microphone, these waves are the input, the raw data it needs to process. To understand how a microphone works, you need to know its basic parts. While microphones come in many shapes and sizes, most share a few common components. Diaphragm. This is the heart of the microphone. It's a thin membrane that vibrates when hit by sound waves. Transducer. This part converts the diaphragm's vibrations into electrical signals. Case and grill. These provide protection and sometimes help shape the sound by blocking unwanted noise or controlling airflow. The diaphragm and transducer are like a tag team. The diaphragm captures the movement, and the transducer translates that movement into something your electronics can understand. Let's talk about one of the most common types, the dynamic microphone. These are your go-to for live performances because they're tough, affordable, and can handle high sound pressure without breaking a sweat. Here's how it works. A coil of wire is attached to the diaphragm. Surrounding this coil is a magnet. When sound waves hit the diaphragm, it moves the coil back and forth through the magnetic field, generating an electrical current. This current mimics the original sound wave, creating a signal that can be amplified or recorded. Dynamic microphones are like the blue jeans of the audio world. Reliable, durable, and perfect for everyday use. Now, if dynamic mics are the rugged workhorses, condenser microphones are the studio superstars. They're the ones used to capture every little detail in a singer's voice or an acoustic guitar. Unlike dynamic mics, Condensers use a thin diaphragm placed close to a metal backplate. When sound waves hit the diaphragm, it changes the distance between the diaphragm and the backplate. This change alters the electrical charge stored between them, producing an electrical signal. Condenser mics require a power source, usually supplied by phantom power from a mixer or audio interface, but that extra bit of effort is worth it for the crystal clear sound quality they deliver. Ribbon microphones are like a blast from the past. They were popular in the early days of radio and are still loved for their warm, vintage sound. These mics use a thin ribbon of metal suspended between two magnets. When sound waves hit the ribbon, it vibrates, generating a small electrical current. Ribbon microphones are particularly good at capturing the natural tone of instruments, which is why they're often used in orchestral recordings or for that classic old-school vibe. While we're at it, let's touch on wireless microphones. These don't just capture sound, they transmit it without the need for cables. 
The microphone converts sound into an electrical signal like usual, but instead of sending it through a wire, it uses a radio frequency transmitter to send the signal to a receiver. This freedom to move around without tripping over cords is why you'll see wireless mics in concerts, TV shows, and sporting events. Not all microphones are created equal when it comes to capturing sound. Some are omnidirectional, meaning they pick up sound from all directions, while others are unidirectional, focusing on sound from a specific area. For example, omnidirectional mics, great for capturing ambient sounds or group conversations. Cardioid mics, shaped like a heart, hence the name. These pick up sound from the front and reject noise from the sides and rear. Perfect for vocals and podcasts. Shotgun mics, highly directional. They're ideal for film sets or outdoor recording where you need to isolate specific sounds. Knowing the directional pattern of a microphone helps you choose the right one for the job. A microphone's job doesn't end with capturing sound. The electrical signal it produces is usually pretty weak, so it needs a little boost. That's where preamplifiers, preamps, and mixers come in. A preamp strengthens the signal, while a mixer allows you to combine and balance multiple signals before sending them to speakers or recording equipment. Think of preamps as the microphone's personal trainer, helping it perform at its best. Microphones have come a long way, but they still face challenges. Background noise, wind, and interference can all impact sound quality. That's why modern microphones often include features like noise cancellation, shock mounts, and pop filters to minimize unwanted sounds. Innovation continues to push the boundaries, from miniature microphones that fit in earbuds to advanced digital mics that connect directly to smartphones. Microphones are more than just tools. They're gateways to communication, creativity, and connection. Whether you're belting out a song, recording a podcast, or giving a speech, your microphone is there, working tirelessly behind the scenes to capture your voice. The next time you hold one, take a moment to appreciate the science and engineering packed into that tiny device. It's not just turning sound into signals, it's turning moments into memories. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.